Hey guys, welcome to The Girl Habit. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a natural smoky eye that Maybelline model Emily DiDonato did in her YouTube channel. So I'm really excited to try this look, and then I was seeing on Instagram that Erin Parsons, a makeup artist that Emily works very closely with, took it a bit of a step further and did very Bridget Bardot liner, black liner. So first we'll start with more of a brown tone and we'll kind of bump it up and you maybe you guys can try this so comment below let me know what you think if you're gonna try it and here we go so first i'm gonna start with skin prep this is something that i saw in aaron parsons video today on instagram and this is the embryolis uh face cream i'm gonna massage this into my skin just to kind of prep my skin for the makeup of this and i'll start rubbing it in i saw them kind of pat this in and I don't really know how to do this but it was kind of cool how they they prepped the skin and I really believe everything is about skin prep because I never believe in hiding my skin underneath makeup I really want it to shine and you'll see today I'm not uh, gonna use a foundation I am just gonna use a illuminating concealer all that in I'm gonna use honest beauties it's called elevated hydration mist and I'm gonna spray this all over it's kind of set set in the cream make sure my skin is super hydrated so this is something I learned today from Aaron Parsons and I'm super excited about it just putting on your cream or oil and the way she puts it in also draining the lymph nodes is very important for any puffing you have puffing I guess uh, inflammation or <laughs> puffy I guess if you feel you look puffy which happens every morning to me when I wake up okay so I'm gonna use the YSL touche pen uh, it's called radiant touch and I get this in number three and I'm gonna put this in the areas that I really want to even out my skin tone and anywhere where I get shadows, which is very often in the smile lines. This looks kind of crazy, but and now I'll blend this in. I just use my fingers. And then for concealer, for a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna use this Hourglass Concealer in Sand. I just had some breakouts a little bit on my chin recently and they always they leave a little bit of a dark spot so it takes me like a month to get rid of these but nothing you can't cover oh and i almost forgot i saw emily she puts on a lip balm which sometimes i do when i do my makeup just to hydrate before she puts on her lipstick at the end. So we'll do that too. This is Mario Badescu Lip Balm. Let's keep going with the skin. Emily used a bronzer, so I'm gonna use that as well today. I'm gonna use this Tarte one. This is in Hotel Eris. I'm gonna use a brush for this as well. So take that. And she did it, ooh, that's way too much. Intermission, really not an experienced bronzer person. So I also saw Erin Parsons, the really amazing makeup artist. She kind of like dabs it a little bit on her hand before she applies. So maybe that's why <laughs> so she doesn't get something like this. So uh, here I go again. And Emily applies it to the outside of her face. So this is just to warm, warm myself up here. Okay, warmed up. I am gonna use my favorite milk highlighter in Lit. I'm gonna take this, put it on my upper cheekbone here, bridge of my nose, above my cupid's bow, a little below the lip, and then I'll blend this in. Highlighter was definitely a big part of these looks that both Emily and Erin did. Then I can always come in and add a little more. So I'm gonna use my favorite brow pencil. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have this in dark brown and it's called the Brow Definer. So what I really like about this is it has this end and then it's kind of shaped so you can fill in your brows pretty well. 
and I'm gonna brush these up and it already makes the world of a difference when you brush your brows. And then I'm gonna fill in any areas where it's a little sparse. And what I do is I take this end and I brush that through, blend it a little bit better. I never really cared about my brows in this way before because I've been blessed with nice eyebrows, full eyebrows, but whenever I did shoots, they were always filling them in and I just noticed it made a difference. So I do this, I don't do this every day, but when I'm doing a full look, I always, always do my brows. Next, let's do a blush. I'm gonna use my favorite air blush from Sunny Space. Uh, this is in Moon. I love this so much. Emily is really a blush girl, so we'll make sure to do her justice because we're recreating her beauty look. There's something just so healthy and putting it on your nose makes you look even more sun-kissed. It also looks really great in a photo. Always on shoots, they put more blush on you than you <laughs> maybe looks good in person because the flash really washes you out so sometimes it just got to be for a photo so next let's do the eye i'm going to start with an eyelash curler i never do this but i see emily does it and all makeup artists do it i have a little bit already of a curly lash and then i saw erin just says she kind of like does like this she doesn't just hold it so kind of wakes you wakes you right up I went to Rite Aid yesterday and I got some new Maybelline products that I've never tried before. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And this is for the smoky eye look, glazed toffee. And then with that, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette. It's called the City Mini Palette. It's got these beautiful colors. So this is gonna be perfect for what we're doing today. Let's get started. What I loved about this, I can't get this open. What is happening? My hands have some creep. Oh, got it. What I loved about this is it wasn't like anything super fancy or pretty about the way Emily did it. She just literally drew a line, line, and it looked crazy for a minute. So I was like, okay, I can do that. So I'm gonna do it. This is my first time trying this. First, I'm gonna go on the inside of the lid and line that. Okay, see, you're already opening at the eye. So I'm gonna line just right next to the eyelash line. And then she goes not, oh, that looks crazy. Yeah, it really does look crazy. And then she goes in, not all the way, but halfway. I feel like this looks crazier than when she did it, but. Oh, that one I did a little bit better. Okay, so she took her fingers and just started smudging it. What's great about this is it is sexy and it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna take a brush and we'll start with this little tan shade first. Now let's do this one here. It's a little bit, we're gonna kind of build this. So I'm gonna wipe that on my hand because we had issues with the bronzer before. Oh yeah, you can really see it. Okay, cool. <laughs> kind of blend this out. I really just use my finger a lot for these blending things, not a brush or anything. Oh, it's already starting to look pretty cool. This is easy. Get this brown and we'll kind of just like intensify the look. Go more on the lid. I might have gone just a little bit crazy, but we'll see. And then I'm gonna blend this with my finger. I'm psyched on this. And I'm gonna do a little bit underneath. Then 
she took a glittery uh, shadow and put it on her eye. I'm gonna use my finger to do this. I'm gonna take this gold one, super pretty. Just start patting this on top of the lid. You have to go with what, what colors work best for you. Take someone as your inspiration and make it your own. I saw Erin also use, the, use a highlighter and she put it above the brow and I feel like this kind of makes the shadow blend in better to your brow as well. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it above the brow arch too. Anywhere where I can attract some light and glow. <laughs> the inner eye corner, something I like to do. Okay, and then let's do mascara. I'm gonna use Honest Beauty's, uh, it's mascara and lash primer. So first I like to use the lash primer because it really prepares the lash for the mascara and kind of separates them as well. So I'm gonna wiggle it like Erin does. I really love this Honest Beauty mascara. It's one of my favorites. Q-tips are your best friend when you're doing makeup. They clean up anything. Okay, so last step is the lip. I am, she did more of a brown tone, so I'm gonna be using Glossier's in shade Leo. I believe this is their lipstick or some kind of lip smudge they have. So this is my Emily DiDonato Smoky Eye Natural Smoky Eye Makeup Look.